I'm going to harp on galvanic corrosion again today. Galvanic corrosion can happen in two ways. You have the dissimilar metals. That's all you need is two. But it can be either transferred through direct contact or through the water. Just get the electrons going. Well, this right here, using brass as a transition metal, can be used to stop the direct contact. But this is nowhere near far enough to stop the electrons from transferring through the water. Now, if you have to have a metal connection for one foot off of the tank, that means you should stay with one type of metal. Going directly to another one and having the two dissimilar metals, you're intentionally adding a dissimilar metal just so that you can create the galvanic corrosion. This is the kind of bad plumber that gives the good plumbers bad names. But they always say, don't assume a tent when you can blame stupidity. Do you really think they're being this stupid?